Okay, well, let's put it this way. If a monk would get a significant buff in 2024, would you consider swapping your current class for a monk class? If it brings up the monk's relevancy high enough. If the answer is yes, stay until the end of the video to find out how monk can be improved for the future. Now, this video I wanted to do like forever because it frustrated me over the years, especially at around the time when I created this monk. The class was absolute worst, like dead last in both PvE and PvP. Luckily, at this time, current present time, it's fourth best class, so it's not something that you should hold your hopes for because it very easily one better set for assassins can change everything and monk can once again drop down to the very last place. Now problem with monk is as the thumbnail of the video says for whatever reason and I've noticed this trend over the years as I've played monk is GMs are scared of strong monks and I cannot understand why because they have put him down so much with all the buffs it's very minimal and the nerves were just hard hitting over the years which we, we will go over in this video so let's start uh, first off we are going to go over the major changes that happened to the monk since 2007 which I found in the patch notes and version updates and yeah let's get right into it um, let's start actually with the nerves which are the hard hitting okay so the first one, I think this one happened like early 2008, maybe late 2007 or something like that. So let's read. One breakpoint can cause 100% damage, which means 5 breakpoints can only cause 500% damage. Giant burst will increase 3% instead of 5% after being added 1 inherence. So what this means is if you add points on a giant burst skill, if you, as you can see, it scales up per 3%. Instead, the previous, as it says in patch note, it was 5%. Now, monk players know that giant attack and giant burst are main source of damage on shovel, and nerfing it this much, it really hurts the overall damage output of monks in duel and in caves. Now, some I know, some may say, Shovel is not for caves. It is. I've made a proof of that many, many times and nobody can tell me any different. So this did hurt monks a lot. I'm not gonna lie because shovel, when, when even when the monks were the most, at the best, the popular class, I mean, they were never popular, popular class, but we'll put it as when they were most useful, Staff was always more dominant weapon of choice. Why? Because people just didn't know how to do and deal with shovel. And the problem was the nerves. Shovel is meant to be a damage control weapon, similar like blade. You can do control stuff with it, also it does enormous damage. Problem comes, a lot of players stay with their vitality build and shovel is the most dependent weapon of the critical strike percentage literally to put it the most simple way if shovel doesn't crit you can't do anything with it it's that simple and this as we all know giant burst is main source of damage so this hurted a lot of monks if we were let's say a revert this and get this buff once again it would significantly improve monk in both caves and pvp and it would put monks 
to a semi-competitive status, which will cause people to go more and play monks. As we all know, over the years, monk was the least played class. And w what I'm really looking for is just one buff for staff, one buff for shovel. And that's really it. It's so simple and we can just benefit from all this because right now meta is really boring with wizards and tamers i'm not gonna lie i don't enjoy it. this is why i gave up dueling and pk and wars a long time ago because i saw that no point really with monks doing any of that sure you can make it work but the percentage of success you're going to get out of it is really small so that's why i just committed myself fully to pve and doing the most damage that i can which is to this day speaking the most unique build that everyone saw okay um uh this part one break point can cause 100 percent damage which means uh five break points can only cause 500 percent damage so literally they have nerfed even the first part because if you know scaling of giant attack is 100% which you need 5 breakpoints so for giant burst to do maximum damage is 500 points so I'm assuming this was around 700% damage if I'm not mistaken or something like that I think it was like 120% modifier on giant attack. I'm not sure because this was way before then I started, like I said. I started early 2009 and this was like... Um, I think it was very early in 2008. So this hurted monks, especially shovel players, in the long run. Okay, let's get to second nerf. Um, this is the one that pissed me off the most when I saw Giant Halt with not increased breakpoint People that play Shovel know that whole kit of doing damage is collecting over here breakpoints and if you don't have a really good way of getting a break points. That means you don't have a really good way to putting damage to a giant burst. Now, why would giant halt point matter? Well, let's put it this way. Giant halt, let's say in duel, you are going to use it probably two to three times, depending how long is duel. Most of the time it's going to be two times. And that alone will speed up the damage output that you have to rely on giant attack and automatically will increase the damage output of giant burst which means way more competitiveness and same goes for caves the faster you do damage the better because as i mentioned shovel is meant to be a damage weapon but it cannot be because of all of those nerves that happened over the years that's why this nerf of not having a break point on giant health it just pisses me off so much when i saw ah uh, okay anyway let's get to the second part the function of buddha shield will be adjusted to increase the damage of the normal attack and decrease the one of mana attack so basically what they do did here is if we go to buddha shield skill it says decrease normal damage 935 points and magic damage 187 points caused by enemy in 15 seconds. So literally, they have swapped around those modifiers. It was originally 930 points of magic damage and 187 of physical damage. This is another big mistake. And this is why. Basic damage is covered by your block and your dodge plus monk has the highest defense by default <coughs> so what i'm trying to say here is 
we did not need swapping around because I've compared the other day the defense amount of myself versus the wizard plus 12 and myself as full plus 7 I have almost the same defense as the full plus 12 wizard so there is literally no point in having extra physical defense again I understand why they did it but over the time it sh it has been shown that it was a great mistake and they should revert this back why magic damage is so important in duels because most of the hits overall especially if you're fighting a mana charge like fairies tamers and wizards they do constantly only magic damage exception being tamer which sometimes can use auto attacks if their skills are on cooldown but aside from that even that is like maybe five to ten percent of time so all the time you are going to be attacked by magic damage same goes for caves now for caves is a little bit different situation because there a lot of bosses and mobs use mostly physical damage so that was the main reason why they swapped it around however magic damage and magic defense is way more important at this current state because the modifiers of sets are just ridiculously high now and the magic damage just increases in cap more and more and more also the 187 magic defense is an absolute joke that is literally not even 0.1 percent so even if they do swap around 900 to 187 it's still ridiculously low like let's take for example assassin's element sarai buff it at max level increases 4881 elemental defense which is approximately around six to seven percent of course the scale depends on how big your plus is and you gain elemental defense as your plus on gear is higher so there we can see the comparison assassin as a class gets almost 5k elemental defense and monks get only 187 it is absurd joke and i don't get it why they don't do something about it because it's hurting monks in both ways in pv and pvp okay um third um let's see what's here it says some showing problems of staff fatal power staff and inheritance points will be adjusted now I don't really know what was this about, I assume they have uh, modified some of the percentages on staff, which, let's be honest, staff is in bad place for 4 years now, and I will come to it why, very soon. So yeah, I don't really know what was this about, as again, I didn't play at that time, so I couldn't really tell. Uh, third nerf is the skill sacrifice and force uh, force attack okay so we will ignore the tamer part skill the sacrifice for monk can no longer be used towards war boss classes now this was probably to stop trolling that monks would do by using a sacrifice luring away world boss and then resetting it so this was more to improve the quality of life in game however problem is not in that problem is that sacrifice is very limited at what it does and why i mean limited is it has too big cooldown after you can use it again and you will see at the end of the video why is the major problem of assistance that they aged horribly and their modifiers need to be adjusted properly to our corresponding level so this was more like balanced nerf i would say but nonetheless 
there is a case to be fixed. Now of course we will go over the positive adjustments. Um, let's see what they have here. Increased 8% of basic damage on monk's staff. Basic damage. I mean monks relatively will do often a basic hit because you get on a cooldown of stamina until you can use again bash, whether burn, whether any other skill. Also uh, with mercy buff, uh, even basic hits, a lot of people don't know this, but even basic hits if you apply mercy, mercy buff, you also get aggro on those hits as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So this was a positive thing. Skill Fatal Burning has been adjusted to AoE skill with max 3 targets in one attack. Now this, in maybe in very early years, burn mattered for controlled tanking. And I know that the burn skill was only applying a fire to one target, so this was more a way to control the monsters and mobs in caves however this nowadays does not mean very much whatsoever um, next one fix the bug occurred in the inherent skill of skill improve fatal crack now the effect from fatal crack has been increased from 10 percent to 20 percent um fatal crack is this skill that boosts your literally it says that decreases targets defense so it means your physical hits will do more damage, basically. And once again, this nowadays does not mean very much. For a monk, it does. And for assassin, it does as well to a degree, but, but more so for a monk, because as we said, when you apply this mercy buff, even your auto attacks, which are going to be white damage, also then possess aggro in them. So it's very much so so I would say but it, today it really doesn't matter all that much and the skill free spell is now to eliminate the effects caused by assassin's soul lost. This is the least useful I would almost say useless but it, again it has only one use case to escape the assassin's skill soul lost. Now what I would like to that they do with this is they can keep the part that you can escape from so low status but I would also like that they add a buff on top of this to have let's say 33% chance to escape a stun which it would it may sound like it be broken but Again, 33% is not all that much and you really cannot rely on 33%. Best example is Fatal Sadness, a stun that works on almost every single boss in the game. And it has 25% chance and literally you cannot rely on that as well. Because you may have like 3-4 to four stuns in a row with it, but then again you may have 10 or 11 hits that will just keep missing and won't stun whatsoever. So this would be a way to fix this least useful skill for monks. However, we will see if anything happens, most likely not, but I will try my best, I will publish, push this video to a support and maybe if a lot of us keep sending this video or any of your ideas on how to improve monks please feel free to send the support especially monk players because we are desperate for a buff it's about damn time that we get something okay so that was i believe buff number one um let's see in buff number two increase aggro and pve ability decrease sacrifice cooling down time from 180 to 60 seconds once again, you see how much Monk was nerfed that they had to buff Sacrifice to be mo more consistent in ability to tank and lure the mobs and boss and keep them on yourself. However, it is still, 60 seconds is still a long time. We need this 
at the very least to be cool down time 45 or 40 seconds because as we all know monks only really can hold aggro in very high resistance caves such as DR, PRS and CWC. Rest of the caves have very low damage resist and that causes an issue. Why? Staff by default has the very least damage in the game and with the sets damage and modifiers growing more and more it creates bigger and bigger gaps between staff and other weapons which causes staff to lose aggro consistently so how to fix this i will go in detail a little bit later because there are ways to improve this and salvage it okay let's go to third buff which is uh, world problems and assassin monk fairy and wizards Met meteorite mountain suit are fixed this was more more general buff than monk specific buff but nonetheless as we can see mmc and sutter pellet sets were only originally giving five percent elements damage so in monk's case mmc is a shovel set so it was only giving five percent damage now after the buff it gave 12 percent damage as it was meant to be so yeah you can see if this remained for this low at only five percent literally shovel would be useless for like 10 years or so until we get until we got the pcp set like that was literally saving grace for shovel and for shovel users um, fourth buff, um, I, I wouldn't really call this a buff, it's more, again, once again, improvement of quality of life. Monk's skill has been adjusted in interruption effect when using in Phoenix City War. I assume this was some kind of a bug where it interacted with Fatal Sadness, which is a stun. I, am, I think this was like if you were to stun the tower that you're sealing, you could not get any more damage on yourself as a sealer. I think that was the case. If somebody knows exactly, please let me know down in the comments below, but I, I'm sure it had something to do with that. And fifth change is monk skills has been adjusted in interruption effect when using... Um, I think we read this already. Let, Yeah, I think we read this. Yeah, so basically... Let me just check if we went through all. Um, yeah, we went through this, we went through this, we went through this, we went through this, we went through this. Yeah, so basically we went through all the major changes that Monk received. Now, what are the ways to fix Monks? First of all, all of the assistants need a adjustment for a corresponding level or for a modifier for which it will increase after each enhanced level so first up buddha shield this is absolutely no brainer like i've said 187 magic damage is just absolutely ridiculous it's literally nothing and physical damage in duel does not matter and it matters a little bit more in pve in caves but even that as i mentioned block and dodge is going to cover your defense so you don't really need to care that much about defense so this is the adjustment number one they need to re swap around the modifiers and increase the modifiers per enhanced level buddha quake is fine it's literally a stun and that's really it range is i guess okay because monk is meant to have a medium range well s slightly lesser than a medium but it's controllable range heart lotus this is probably my favorite buff on monk um increases buddha attack and fire attack damage by 114 points last 30 minutes 114 points is literally nothing like yes i use it because i'm a damage monk 
but modifier per enhanced level needs to increase. This needs to be at least 350 to 500 points increase. Because I, I think this increases for like, I would say 2 to 3 points on each enhanced level, which is literally nothing. So hard fire needs a significant boost. I'm not saying all of those changes, so please understand this. All I'm saying is we need just one adjustment on either staff, shovel or assistance. Ideally you would need one adjustment on staff, one on shovel, that would be fine. Or we need two modifiers to be fixed on assistance, that would also improve monks overall. Hard Lotus. Um, this is okay skill, control skill that slows down the target. My issue with this is if we, let's say, set it here, as you can see it's level 1. It literally has like 500 health and it gets one shot. So my suggestion for improving Hard Lotus would be increase its health and increase its level to gain s at least physical defense. You don't need a magic defense on this because that would be a little bit busted but at the very least most of the players are destroying the Heart Lotus with a physical damage via I don't know maybe Tamer's auto skill, Assassin's auto skill, Monk's auto skill, um, Wizard's Eye shield or whatever skill that just costs you literally no effort and that is a cause this lotus destroys itself literally like you said it it's destroyed in two seconds unless you change chain followed it by a stun because like i said 500 health on this i think that's 500 health because literally the smallest amount of damage can destroy the lotus and literally that's the main problem with it the duration and slowdown effect is fine, I would not touch any of that. Um, Buddha Bone, let's see. Mercy. This is another case where modifier of increasing enemy value should be buffed. 190 is not enough. So what I'm trying to say here is, this needs at the least 50% effect increase <coughs> so as we can see increase value is 190 points so let's say at the very least if not 50 percent even 33 percent would still be okay and acceptable and with the right setup staff could once again keep an aggro even in a low resistance caves now why is this important Staff's overall aggro is equal to times 4.4 damage. So what I mean by this is, let me pull out a notepad. Um, so let's say Staff does a single hit with 10,000 damage. And when you apply a point from a mercy buff and when you get to throw a point on fatal bash those two buffs increases your aggro value which is equal to 4 times 4 damage so what this means to match 10,000 damage of monk when it's fully buffed any other weapon needs to do 44,000 damage to match the amount of aggro stuff produces. And since we know all other weapons have enormous modifiers and literally the gap as the next set comes out just grows more and more, this causes very easily for staff to collapse in damage and there is another part of it that is an issue which is staff has no critical strike damage instead it has block rate now i understand why the block rate is here because staff is meant to be as i've mentioned in previous videos 
it's meant to be a tank weapon. However, we just need a bonus that will give us a critical strike damage on a fatal bash skill. It's that simple fix. Instead, we keep getting garbage of set bonuses for staff, like we got for DR set. Um, let me pull it out here. Um, I think if you can see. Okay. So, as you can see here, it increases critical strike rate of the skill Fatal Pro by 30%. Now, some of you may say who don't play Monk, well, this is good. It increases critical strike rate. The issue with this is. Fatal Probe does not contain aggro in it like Bash does. And that is a major issue why this bonus is useless. Because if you can see, Probe increases only damage, but not the aggro. Even if you would put points here, it still would not be enough because the damage of the staff, as we said by default, is very small. And it has no compensation because it doesn't have a critical strike damage, instead has block rate. This is why this does not work whatsoever. And this is why the pirate lair set for monk, I would dare to say even to this day, is the very best set. Now the only reason why it's not as good anymore as it DR is because, let's find one piece, is because over time just DR set got better bonuses and it creates more often which salvages to a degree a total aggro that you can keep with staff. But if we look at the bonuses for PR, P pirate layer set, all critical strike rate increased by 8%, which means even Fatal Bash gets increased critical strike rate. So it means more often crits on Bash. Also, increases fire damage by 8%, that is fine, but this is the main part. Increase the damage of the Fatal Bash by itself by 350 points. Why does this matter? Bash, as we know, if you put points on it, contains a large amount of aggro. Even if you don't, like I don't have it, and I will explain in one of the future videos why I don't, is because Bash, as you can read, produces huge enemy value. So even if you don't have points, Bash still has aggro installed in it. And this is why Pirate Lair set was so good for years and literally aggro wise it's better even than pcp reputation set which i know it sounds stupid but it's true it's been tested many times and i have evidences and other people that tested with me have evidence for it too and they just couldn't believe that pirate layer set was that good but that's mainly because the bonuses were the right and correct same case you could make for loose set if we see here, decrease Fatal Bash stamina consumption by 10 points, which means Fatal Bash would cost 30 stamina. And by that, it causes automatically, like this, when it costs 40 stamina, you can literally hit 3 bashes in a row. With 30 stamina, you are able to hit 4 bashes in a row, which causes an extra aggro and extra damage and this is why loose set and pirate layer set were so good sets for monks for the longest time. So my solution to this would be if GMs are already are going to repeat some bonuses, at least repeat this, like fatal bash damage or stamina consumption decrease on fatal bash, because fatal bash is the whole key of the monk damage and monk aggro and monk setup. We all know that. So that is a way to fix the staff. Also, another way could be that, as I mentioned, you just modify Mercy 
buff and that will ju do just fine. Sacrifice, how oh, I've already explained, this cool time should go even more down to 45 or 40 seconds because even still, one minute is too long time, as we've said, because you can see many times example in caves that monk loses so often aggro and it creates really big problem and that should not happen and that is caused as i've said bigger sets bigger bonuses and increase in damage gap from staff to other weapons and finally treasure loop um robo spell this is fine as it is i would not touch this at all it's just literally to increase your health that's fine this free spell i've already went into detail how to fix this Again, uh, to me at least, it seems a good idea to give. Well, it makes sense. It's called free spell, so you r go to release yourself from so low status. So I don't see a problem. Why wouldn't you be able to at least have some percentage to escape stuns too? Because it's freeing off the spell, and stuns, as we know, most cases are the spells. So yeah. So there were one or two more changes that have been added over the years that boosted monks and those changes were, I think this change happened in 2015 or 2016, I'm not sure, I think it was late 2015 but I couldn't find it in patch notes is that some of you may know Giant Halt costed 50 stamina for the longest time and i think late 2015 is when they decided to drop 10 stamina on it it cost it costs now 40 stamina or in this case if you go full set of pcp drop or even the newest cover tower set which is as you can see here um hang on which you can see here it's a repeated set so that's fine so with that now giant halt costs 30 stamina however if it were not for this it would still need to go down to 30 stamina so what i'm saying is if we didn't get the bonus it would drop halt to 30 stamina we would need a requirement that we get a drop off from 40 to 30 stamina because remember this is the only way that you as a shovel user can catch your target. There is literally no way because this is a semi range. It's slightly bigger range than Buddha Quake. So that is a cause that you should make for how to improve it. Other change that I'm also bitter about is Originally, the West Palace set for Monk was a shovel set, not a staff set. There may be very only few people that played Monk at that time when West Palace was released will remember this and this lasted for literally three days. And instead of this garbage, I dare to say garbage because West Palace set for Monk is not good. Anyone can tell you that. It's literally a redo of the R set, the bonus wise, and you can see it over, hang on, yeah, it's completely same bonus, only boosted in overall stats, but originally, shovel set was the West Palace set, and the last bonus for it was increased 10% damage on giant attack, as we all know, giant attack stacks its damage and converts it into giant burst so giant burst damage depends on how high damage is from giant attack so if we were to get that set and that bonus it would mean that five hits on giant attack 10 percent each will convert into 50 percent more damage on giant burst now this might seem like a little bit broken but maybe for the time when the West Palace set was released, it was a little bit broken, but for nowadays game state, it is not broken whatsoever, and I think it would be just fair balance 
to give some competitiveness and livelihood to a current meta which is as I mentioned already only wizards and tamers. So those are my points on how to improve monks and as you can see there is a lot to be fixed. My main if I could pick three key points to fix would be return a breakpoint on giant halt to fix shovel, increase the enemy value from a mercy buff to at least 33% to give more chance to staff to tank even the low, resist uh, low resistance caves which as we all know it cannot tell any longer so this is why mon gets kept in the shadows for being the least popular class to play and assistant wise I would fix a Buddha shield to swap around the modifiers first of all to get, get more magic damage and less physical damage and increase the overall modifier per level that we get more magic damage because as I've said assassin can get 4.9k elemental defense and monk only gets 187 like come on it's 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 this is just it's not even laughable it's it's sad to see so those were my would be my three key points of course i've given here many ways how monk can be improved so hopefully when i send this video hopefully gms listen and eventually in few months maybe they decide to do something about it because yes Monk is now currently 4th best class and it was for a long time especially when I started this monk in 20... I would say from 2016 to 2020 Monk was the dead absolute worst class and literally I can tell you that because I've played a lot during that time so I've experienced a lot of negatives from being monk alone I was getting kicked a lot of, out of caves because they were like ugh monk like horrible class we don't need that in team but our salvage was two things getting this shovel set was the one thing because we went I don't have the MMC set any of parts but literally the last bonus for shovel was decrease giant rights stamina consumption by 10 points which is literally attack from behind it is so specific that in duel it's not practical whatsoever it eats too much stamina for a little bit of double damage compared to giant attack which if you put points on giant attack it doesn't anymore do double damage it does like 70% more and it was designed to be a damage in West Palace because as we know case that saves monks in caves for like it's West Palace is attacking from behind so that's why the MMC and Southern Palace set were designed for yeah and I think I pretty much said everything with this that I've had maybe I've forgotten a detail or two but in general this was just this was needed to be said um I kept this for a long time I kept collecting info I kept collecting the thoughts of other players realizing what are the pros and cons of it how to fix it and I think I've went well in detail as how to fix monks because let's be honest whoever played monk knows that we deserve a buff and it would just improve the quality of life it would not drop it down now same case would be for assassins but for assassins i'll make the special video after sometimes this year or maybe next year but either way the assassin video will be made how they literally went from the very best class at the beginning of the game to now being the very dead worst class some may say that it's not the case still 
but let's be honest here, Assassin overall, if you look his usage compared to Monks, is just way smaller. And anyone can tell you that who has a sense to his mind. So do not prolong anymore this video, I know this video is gonna be maybe like 30-40 minutes long because I really wanted to explain what are the issues and how to fix them. And now I've re re remembered one other thing. Um, there is a word that we might be getting a another super skill. So, how to fix another way a monk is if, let's say, we get a skill that it will pull the target towards you. So, literally, like grabbing skill. However, what I would make from this skill, I would make it, once you grab the target, you lock it in one place for 3 seconds, so it means you cannot move. However, you could be able to still use your skills, so it would not be broken like a stun, but it would be a good semi-control skill. So literally, let's say this tamer, I duel it, I use the skill to grab it and pull it towards myself, the tamer could still use the skills but could not run away, so it, it would be a really good control ability which would help shovel a lot in duels, because literally our only way to hunt somebody is with giant health and as we know it's problem a lot of times because not always you can reach the target when you have the skill ready. Okay, uh, yeah that's really gonna be it, if you know any more good ideas on how to improve monks overall please let me down in the comments below and as always like share and subscribe if you found this uh, video informative and as always take care and i'll see you in the next one goodbye